I'm Grant Harper from 472 Turvey Park. Since the New South Wales Fire Brigade's adopted the trailer mounted kitchen fire simulator, it has become very popular as a fire safety message tool for firefighters throughout New South Wales. It has proven very successful in assisting firefighters with the delivery of safety messages to their community. With the increased demand for the trailer mounted simulator, it soon became evident that managing and coordinating the one simulator was unequitable. This portable kitchen fire simulator has been designed by firefighters for firefighters with low cost, ease of use, transportation and safety in mind. The guidelines on this video are to be used in conjunction with the recommended practice document and only trained personnel are authorised to operate the portable kitchen fire simulator. If you have any questions, please contact your training officer. Thank you and remember, be safe, not sorry. Kitchen fire simulators have been designed by the New South Wales Fire Brigade's firefighters to raise community awareness of fire risks and how these risks can be mitigated. The actual kitchen fire simulation provides the narrative hook in public presentations on fire safety in the home. This recommended practice instructs firefighters in the correct operation and maintenance of the portable kitchen fire simulator. There are two models of simulator, one portable and one custom built into a trailer. The trailer kitchen fire simulator is covered in a separate document. Before use, operators must view this instructional DVD and read the recommended practice publication. The firefighter delivering the commentary must be trained and signed off as competent in the use of the portable kitchen fire simulator. This firefighter supervises the demonstration. Station commanders must sign off in the station occurrence book that this has occurred. One firefighter operates the kitchen fire simulator. Occupational health and safety procedures require that this firefighter must wear the PPE detailed. The second firefighter provides crowd control. Either firefighter can deliver the commentary. Conduct a risk assessment because every audience is different and climatic conditions change every demonstration will be different. Operators will need to change or expand the required safety precautions to suit conditions. The crowd must be kept a minimum of four metres away from the simulator, including the back and sides. If the wind is strong or gusty, or the crowd is large or contains a number of children, then increase your safety zone. The firefighter giving the demonstration must wear a minimum of duty wear uniform, turnout jacket, over trousers, firefighting gloves, structural firefighting helmet with visor down for the fireball. The assisting firefighter must wear the duty wear uniform. The kitchen fire simulator is a two person lift. Always seek help when lifting the kitchen fire simulator. Take the weight with your knees, not your back. Don't use the kitchen fire simulator indoors. Locate the kitchen fire simulator on hard level ground. Don't use the kitchen fire simulator near or underneath any combustible exposures. If you have a large crowd or a number of children in the crowd, double the radius of your safety distance. When the fireball ignites, the crowd will automatically step back. For the safety of your spectators, it is imperative that they have room to move. To prepare for the demonstration, erect a safety barrier of at least four metres in front of the unit. If you need to move the simulator once it's assembled, pick it up and carry it by the legs. Assemble the kitchen fire simulator as follows. Lie the kitchen fire simulator flat and open the cover. Unpack all equipment. Close the cover. Slide each leg firmly into a hole provided in the base of the kitchen fire simulator. Fit the legs so that they angle outwards. Once upright, the legs are held in place by the weight of the unit. Stand the kitchen fire simulator up and open the cover.
fit the gas burner and stovetop. The gas connection fits through the slot provided in the rear of the kitchen fire simulator body. Connect the gas hose to the stovetop. Connect the gas hose to the gas bottle. Tighten all gas connections with a spanner. Check to ensure there are no gas leaks. Fit the burner cover. Check you have enough gas for your demonstration. The saucepan provided leaves space for heat to escape from underneath the burner cover. If you use a different saucepan, ensure that there is at least one centimetre clearance on all sides between the base of the saucepan and the burner cover. Measure out 200 millilitres of new canola oil and pour it into the saucepan supplied. Use canola oil for the demonstration. Not all blended vegetable oils burn cleanly. Place the saucepan on the stove with handle inwards where it can't snag on clothing. Fill the two buckets with water. Fill the supplied extension applicator cup with water to the level of the weep hole and place it on the ground in front of the demonstration area. The handle of the applicator should point into the wind as much as possible. If the weather is cold or windy, consider preheating the oil and covering it with the saucepan lid until you're ready to begin the demonstration. At the beginning of the demonstration, you will need to present this disclaimer. Ladies and gentlemen, during this demonstration, a fireball and a small amount of smoke will be generated by the burning cooking oil. Everyone, please remain standing and stay behind the safety line. Turn on the gas. Light the gas burner with the extension barbecue lighter. Place the saucepan on the stove. The time to ignition depends on wind, temperature and humidity, but will be about 10 to 15 minutes. Start your presentation now.